Remember when I said this? Even the new Shelby GT350, I gotta test drive one of those, which I want that car. Under no circumstances at this point am I willing to uh, give this car up. I'm on a hell train, Today's a very special episode. Not only is it season two, episode one, but I got myself a brand new car here. And also my co-host for today, my good friend Jared, he's also got the exact same Shelby GT350. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Okay, so both of these cars are 2017 models. And uh, I, I was very fortunate when I bought mine, they took me to a Quonset in the Airdrie and I literally got to pick out of 13. I went into that dealer, into the Quonset saying I was gonna get Recaro seats. I want a Recaro seats. And then I bounced back and forth between cars. Turns out I didn't want Recaro seats, but you did get them. What are your thoughts on the Recaro seats? I got the Recaros. I had the Recaros in my last car. I just, for this kind of car, I felt that I needed to have the Recaros. It just, that was my, uh, I didn't try your seats though. When, when they offered me the cars, I didn't try the yeah. other ones. I just had the Recaros in the last car and I had to have them in this car. Well, I think personally that the Recaros are way cooler. And uh, to be truthful, when I uh, took this car autocross, I wish I had the Recaro <laughs> seats because I was sliding around pretty good. But for the rest of it, like I don't think with Recaros you can get the heated or cooled seat option. Right, yeah, they're not heated or cooled. Yeah, so maybe I'm an old man and I kind of like that well, stuff. But <laughs> you know, on a day like today when it's pretty hot, it is nice to have that option. So other than that, these cars are uh, bone stock. Um, absolutely exactly the same besides the seats and uh, obviously the colors. I went with Avalanche Grey. Jared here, he went with Grabber Blue, which I think does look a little bit better. But I have a rule that I never get the same color of cars twice. <laughs> I've been friends with Josh at the Ford dealership for yeah. many years, and as soon as your car came into the dealership, you sent it to me, your 662 horsepower. Oh, yeah. Shop. Your old one. Yeah, oh, I so. missed that car. Yeah. <laughs> at any time a Mustang would come to the dealership, he'd always send me a picture, say, hey, here's the one for you, because I've wanted a Shelby for a long time. Yeah, and yeah. Then that's how I kind of met you. I sent you a message saying, That's hey, right. I'm really interested to hear about the difference between your 662 horsepower Shelby and this 526 Shelby. That's right, yes. So it was, yeah, so was one of the main reasons. It, yeah, exactly. And that was a big concern for me, going from a 662 horsepower car with 630 foot-pounds of torque to this. I was extremely, extremely nervous about it. Would I miss the power? Would I miss the torque? But as you, if you watched last season, you know I brought this car up a lot and I just had to do it. I really wanted to have them both at the same time, but unfortunately on my salary, that's just not possible. So I traded mine in in January and it sat in this garage and I sat here extremely worried the entire time. Am I going to be disappointed? But we'll talk a little bit about that when we go up driving in it, but I can tell you that I was not worried at all. It's one hell of a car. What, what do you like about this car? I love the RPMs, the way it revs, the way it handles, everything about the car I love. Yeah, yeah. There's not too many things that I could not love about it. Yeah, no, I, I know, I agree. It's it's such a driver's car, it is so much fun to drive. Like, it, honestly, out of all the cars I've had, this one, hands down, is the best one that I've had to date. Like, Puts a smile on your face. It does. Even when you drive down to go get a six-pack of beer in second gear, it's fun. Like there's just, this car is just absolutely outstanding. Uh, horsepower, 526? 526. Torque? Not too sure the torque, I know it's less. 426, right? So in today's day and age, I guess that's not a hell of a lot when you're considering the Demon, the new Z01, several other cars that are, are, are vastly greater numbers than that. However, this car, this high revving voodoo flat plane crank engine 
Kira is absolutely all of that because it's one hell of a car. With that, I think we should take it for a drive. <laughs> on the 2017 Shelby G2350. As I was saying back in the garage, I, my biggest concern with buying this car and losing my Shelby GT500 was the obvious horsepower loss, the torque loss. Um, I loved that car. Truthfully, I really wanted to keep them both, but this car was absolutely haunting me. And I was finding out that I was really kind of getting more into canyon carving drive. The kind of driving we're doing today, windy roads, uh, things like that and so you know I had that car for three years didn't think there was really that much more I could really do with that car so I, uh, I agreed to trade it in the big day came when I finally decided to take it for a drive and the night before I didn't even sleep because I was so worried about being disappointed with it well that, that went away absolutely within 30 seconds of me driving this car down my street and then I hit some back roads and I realized what an intense snarly little car this is and it is absolutely incredible to drive the handling characteristics are unbelievable the uh, high revving engine which is the magic behind this car it uh, really forces you to get the revs out of it to get the power out of it and that alone is reason enough to to have this car i mean it is a full-on driver's car you gotta stick around you know uh, seven seven five a thousand rpms on this car to get the power out of it but it rewards when you do and it, after a while you get used to it and you stop short shifting it and you just drive the car like that and that's what makes it absolutely magical another great thing about this car is it's fun to drive in any gear in any speed it's not just like my ZL1 Camaro was and sorry Camaro guys I love Camaros but it wasn't like that car like that car you had to be on it all the time to get the power out of it and when you were, it was really docile. And that to me was just no fun. This car, you go down to get a liter of milk and it's absolutely uh, it's a fun drive just doing that. However, I must make this clear. If you're a guy that likes, uh, likes the straight line performance, this car might not be the car for you because it is uh, a car to go around corners really fast in. I mean, I guess it's got a decent zero to 60 time and you know, whatever that is, 4.1 seconds. But in today's day and age, that's not much when you compare it to the Hellcat, Demon, the new ZL1 and a multitude of other cars. But you don't really miss that because you take it out onto roads like this and you fly. Now, granted, I'm not driving fast right now because we've been harassed by the police three times already out here, so we're wearing our own welcome. The transmission is incredible. You can just stay around third gear and do 120, 130 kilometers an hour like with no problem, so your bottom end power is always there. I don't know if you can pick this up, but just check this out. This is in, let's go to second gear. Third gear, that's 150 kilometers. 
kilometers an hour and I still had a good 2,000 RPMs to go. But let's answer the question. Can you go from a 662 plus horsepower car down to a 526 horsepower car? Well, the answer is revs. Yes, I absolutely believe you can. To me, it comes down to what is the most amount of fun to drive. And, you know, I gotta say this one by far, by far, the GT500 was more fun in the city because it was a hooligan car. You know, red light to light, burnouts, all of that. It was a blast. But all around, everything put together, everything considered, this car is by far the best car I've ever had. And, and I think even driven to up to up to date. There's just, there's nothing I would change about it. It's just, this is one hell of a car. Good job, Ford. driving today we ran into some fellow Mustang enthusiasts they had 2018 uh, GT performance packs yeah, they're performance pack level one so they have the motorized suspension and active exhaust and yeah some of the goodies that the GT 350s have without having going the full the full distance of the GT 350 exactly like I think they're 460 horsepower and they're probably yeah. 60 grand yep. loaded up but they're one hell of a car. Like Ford did a great job on that car as well. I yeah, mean, they nailed it. The exhaust sound on that is is pretty much perfect. It's nothing like our Shelby's, but it's a, it's had its own sound as well, and it sounds sounds really great. It sounds good. Mustangs, if you're in the market for one, those are that's a good deal to buy. On a closing note, I think the last thing that I would say about this car is buy it. Do you have yeah, anything else? Yeah, to don't hesitate. These are great cars, great price points. They're fun to drive. Definitely worth it. Absolutely, and I could give you a tip, the best way to get the best deal. Wait till January or February, especially if you're in Canada, when it's the Arctic front is out there, you'll save some money. With that, thank you so much. It's a